You know best, boss. Alright, so he's willing to call me boss. That's awesome, because I um, freed him. Alright, so let's go and let's uh, see if Vic can fix some computers and generators and all that. Yeah, I wonder how the ammo situation is going to be like, because um, he only has 24 bullets. Might have to give him some um, knives. I have some knives. And crowbars and other things. Alright, give you a combat knife. Got knife. Okay, that's it for now. Let's save at the hub. The den, sorry. Always mix it up. Hub den. Okay, so um where's vault 13? Oh he didn't tell me yet. Okay, I guess I can ask him. Town world, sure. Let's go back to Toxic Caves and see if we can repair stuff. Alright, so another companion. Do you wish to encounter a merchant party fending off some molech and pig red? It's kind of interesting that we get to see more merchants along the route between the cities or between the settlements. And also they tell you whether I want to get involved. Uh, I say no because I don't want um, Vic to waste his ammo. Uh, but then I guess this also has to do with my outdoor skills. Oh, I said yes. Okay, no matter. Um, yeah, we uh, defeat the Morat. Why not? Morat are rather easy. Swing away at these cute critters. Looks like a yeah, big rodent. And Vic also shoots. That's pretty good. Pretty good shooting. And there's a lot of more rats. Maybe I got involved in uh, some matter that I shouldn't get involved. Nice, Vic. Wow, your first more rat kill. These guys are all accurate. Okay, so five more rats in total. Let's take care of this guy. And now Solik has not moved an inch, but I think he's going to now swing away. After seeing my example. Okay, Solik, it's, it's time for you to uh, do something. The Morich are pretty aggressive. I think they're trying to aim for the priority target. Definitely not me, but I was able to kill another one. Wow, these guys are like... Like badass. Goodness. Swing away. One more. Wow, missed. Your days here are through, Morat. Yeah, now Slotik is angry. Because Morat doesn't know when to give up. And he's dead. Wow, I got three Morats. Pretty lucky. No drone weapons. Right. That's a shovel. I have a shovel. Shovel's not a weapon. Can I skin the Morad? Nope, I can't. Alright, let's uh, try to barter with this guy. That'd be good. Get some more money out of this. Um, Alright, how about the steam pack? 400? Wow, it's really expensive. Let's just get some apple. 45? My goodness. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about the status economy in the world of Fallout, but... 22 bucks per apple uh, in this wrinkled state. Uh, I think they're just trying to rip me off. But, well, what can you do? Let me just try to uh, get 25 extra for more healing item. Or I can give him a shovel or a flare. Maybe Nuka Cola? 23? Wow, I better just keep it. How about this uh, antique all 13 flask? Oh, it's worth nothing. Yeah. There's nothing much I can actually sell. This guy doesn't have any uh, money. Is that another flare? 
55. 45, good. Alright, it works. That's a good trade, I guess. Well, not really, but I guess I'm hitting items. And then I get to rummage through their stuff here. Let's see what they have here. Okay. And I can also try to steal from them. But I think they'll be very keen. Find out very quickly. And also try to steal, but at 14% I have no chance. I can see what this guy has. Maybe I can steal a steam pack. Oh, it worked. Oh, wow. It worked. I uh, stole a couple of $800 worth of steam packs from this guy. Okay, that's uh, one thing you can do here. Steal it right back. Okay, so Toxic Caves once again. Um, I think Vic should be careful because he doesn't have any uh, rubber, rubber shoes. Which we need to cross into some certain sludge. Um, Alright, well I mean you gotta be just be careful. Maybe Sonic has the extra... Hello Sonic, do we have extra shoes that I can give to Vic? Extra shoes. Alright, let's see if you have... So you have only one shoes, okay. Alright, I think I sold the shoe or something. I gave it to Cassidy or the Smiley the Hunter so he doesn't get hurt. Now Cassidy is another name I remember from Fallout. I don't know whether Fallout 1 or Fallout 2 or both. Alright, so you need to take this path so that... Well, you gotta cross into the sludge anyways. Let's see if Vic is able to fix the generator. Yeah, so Vic is going to have some trouble. Look at that, he's losing 2 hit points. Alright Vic, you can make it! You can make it Vic! Uh, please don't die. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay. Alright Vic, I'm very sorry. Um, can you fix this? Okay. Uh, looks like you need to get the generator working. Okay, let's fix the generator first. We can probably get more rubber shoes inside if we get to use elevator. But this is very neat stuff. So your repair skill is really bad, but if you just try to repair this, then the guy with the best repair skill goes to um, repair it. And then he failed obviously, but I can probably try it again. Failed to learn anything. Alright, so let's try to repair this once again. Please fix it. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, he got it. He got it, folks. I can now uh, use the elevator to go down. Oh, it appeared to be locked. Come on. Well, try to unlock it. Vic, can you unlock this? Nope, I have the... Looks like you need an electric device to open this lock. Okay. I think I'm... Um... I'm kind of out of options, unfortunately. Um, but I think I can try um, this, which we got from the birdie bird, the fallen birdie bird. Is it on? Medic? Oh, okay, so Vic wants to get some healing item. I need a doctor, boss. I'm really messed up. Don't know if I can fight with you anymore. You should heal yourself now. I mostly healed up boss, but I've been better. Okay, that's good. I think he can heal himself. And I give him that rubber shoes, so he's not going to get hurt from the sludge. I get hurt, but no, it doesn't. I'm okay. I can probably get my, uh, what is it? My red axe or this uh, red away after crossing into the sludge. So you need an electronic lock. Electronic lockpick, I guess. Can you try to repair the computer here then? Can I repair that? Sure. Alright, so at least the generator is now going. Electric device. No, I don't have any. Okay. 
Let's try to, uh... Alright, let's try to cross this. Not too bad. Crap. Get out. Okay, good. Yeah, not too bad. That's 20 hit points. Alright, so after we get out, where to go now? Ball city. Boss, Sonic's glaring at me again. Nice, some uh, party interaction. Gotta be careful not to step on the sludge. Yeah, Big was almost dead because of the toxic sludge. Okay, so we are in the west side. Um, I guess we can travel a bit more. All right, Vic. Uh, let's see. Ask you something. Where did you get the Vault 13 water flask? From Ed. He's a Brahmin dealer over in Vault City. You've been there before? Let me show you on the map thing of yours. Yeah, somebody already showed me and I uh, unfortunately had to uh, find him. There is Ed, a Brahmin dealer in Vault City, which had which handed Vic or traded with Vic the Vault 13 flask. So I need to go to Vault City. This is... Yeah, but he mentioned so I need to go there and then uh, see where Ed is so I can ask further, inquire further. You should heal yourself now. I think every one of us should heal ourselves. I mostly healed up boss, but I've been better. So you cannot really get it 100%. Let's see if I can do it. Alright, good. I guess experience point. Experience point and all. Nice. Okay, almost. We're not staying here long, are we, boss? So he doesn't want to stay here for long because everybody will recognize him and then um, ask him about some of the things. Okay, let's barter. Sure that she has now some money. Yeah, she has 160 now. Good. Let's sell this. And some other things I have multiples of, like a spear, for example. I keep the spears because I can throw them. We'll probably sell one shovel. And that's it. Yeah. Let's go to Vault City. I guess I don't need anything right now. Okay. Guys, follow me, please. Stay close. Gotta take some time, obviously. Hopefully there's some other settlement that we can visit. Or there's some settlement midway, just like Clement to then. And then some geckos hiding amongst a large number of spore plants. Oh my goodness. What is yeah spore plant, I remember these things. I think we we die basically, because it's too powerful. Yeah. I mean it's not that powerful, but the geckos will number on us. Are you dead? Okay, cool. Let's um, have to attack them separately. Um, I think. Okay, so the geckos are not aggroed right now, so that's good. 
Okay, crap. Vic is missing also, not good. Please die. Nice. Yeah, Vic isn't too bad. Nice, okay. Let's uh, finish up the other plant. Oh, nice. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, and the geckos will go crazy now, I'm sure. Yeah, the geckos now going all crazy. Crab Vic. I think you should not have uh, hit the geckos before we deal with the plant. Hopefully Vic is okay. He he able to handle like six geckos. Maybe I should help him. Yeah, maybe I should help him. Vic doesn't have any armor though, so he's gonna probably run away. But need to finish at least a few of them before. Uh... Yeah. yeah. Let's attack this guy first. Oh crap. Oh my spleen. Yeah, he's gonna run away, right? Please die. Okay, now this guy is attacking me, which is good. Please attack me. Leave Vic alone. Not a good idea, Vic. Although you're really good at repairing, I don't think Gecko Spleen is actually something that you can use. Unless you plan to cook it and eat it. Gecko was hit for no damage. Wow, that's fortunate. Yeah, I, I don't think I can actually. Vic is probably almost dead. Hopefully he runs away. And we are going to also run away. Is this almost dead or what? Severely wounded. Okay, well. Let's make it dead. Why don't we? Yeah, good job Vic. Running away is a good thing to do. Um, I don't think I have a chance though. Really filled with a lot of dangerous enemies, even with three people now in our party. Um, time to run, I guess. Yeah, you're out of here. Good, good thinking. Okay, all right. That seals it. Rest in peace, chosen one. Quick and to the point. Alright, as long as um, the prompt goes up, whether I want to battle these guys, I try to uh, not be tempted anymore. Let's head to Vault City. And this one I cannot... Yeah, who's this guy? Scar Traveler. I see. So these guys are the merchants. We just need to talk nicely and I think it'll be fine. Good guy for the most part. Wait a minute, I heard of you. You're the do-gooder that's running around saving helping people. We don't like your kind, so buzz off. So like this guy's not do-gooder. Yeah, they know that we help people in climate and they don't like that. One bit. So we just uh, head out. I'm sure there are some other guys who... Um... Oh my goodness. Alright, time to do some uh, red scorpion hunting. And I think these guys are not as bad as... Um, um, not as bad as the... Yeah, poisoned. Crap. But geckos are more dangerous than these guys, I think. So let's try to survive here. This mass of red scorpions. One's already dead. Good thing. Plenty of targets. Yeah, attack me. You attack me not Vic. Let only one guy be poisoned. 12 hit points, that's not good. Uh, okay, second best scorpion down. Uh, 
Oh crap. Yeah, they're picking on the weaker guy. Wow, cool. Rick is not doing too well. Alright, die, Red Scorpion. Please die. Nice. Oh no, he's dead, right? Nope, he's not dead. Okay. Wow, that was pretty crazy. This, um. Dang it. He looks very bad, right? Almost dead. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do is. I'm going to heal you now. Save. Okay, I'm going to heal Vic. Use my patented first aid skill to fighting strength. Dang it. Okay, I heal myself for some reason. Okay, take damage from poison. We need a doctor, not a first aid beginner. I'm not doing so well here. Okay, I give you a steam pack. I give you a steam pack. Is he okay? Is he not almost dead now? Is he really wounded? Alright, I think you can take care of uh, two red scorpions. Okay, yep. Yeah. I'll just swing away. Alright, let's see what happens. Good job. I think Vic only had 24 bullets, but I think he's definitely shooting more than 24 times. So maybe the bullet do not really... Bullets are kind of infinite, as long as you equip the right weapon. Alright, so these guys are not too bad. All by itself. Yeah, Vic's... Um, he missed. Still feeling the effects of the red scorpion poison, perhaps. Alright. I think I need to talk to Sodic and then make him be more aggressive. Yeah, be more aggressive here. Just... Let's see what happens. Okay, and now Red Scorpion Tails. Nice. Wonder if I'm going to be out of storage space. Wow, cool, yeah. Alright, so I need to dump everything here to Sulik. He's a scorpion tail guy, so to speak. Give him something else. Maybe other healing powder. Scorpion tails are pretty large. And the little scorpion and the big scorpion here share the same type of tails. So the developers didn't really uh, care to differentiate between the two, although the small scorpion might have way less, like way smaller tail. Oh, all right. What you be? Kind of busy work here trying to give him the tail here. But tail's worth around uh, $10 a pop, so it's valuable stuff. Valuable. And if you can concoct or get a guy who can actually make something out of those scorpion tails, then um, they can make the antidote, which means they're going to be worth a lot more. In Fallout 1, it was they were around $50 per. Are you healed? Yeah, let's just rest. It's a perfect place. Still, we might be uh, crawling with red scorpions, but just a few days rest. I mean, just a few weeks of rest. I mean, you know, it's not going to really. Um, there's no time counter that can fall out one, so I'm just wondering whether we can rest. Um, However long that we like. Okay, so we healed up and then um, we are on our way to Ball City once again. Don't stop the travel. Oh my goodness, we are getting like hit with Red Scorpion. This is Red Scorpion country. 
Goodness. Are you out of range? Okay. Wow, I'm really surrounded. We're starting to do the hurt dance. Yeah, wow, cool, cool. Good job, guys. One red scorpion down already. Okay, I felt the burn there. Shot in the back. Oh, okay, cool. It hurt itself. My, my. It just swung too, too much that the tail actually landed on its head or something. Dead? Okay, so red scorpion is a very easy foe now. Relatively easy. Um, I got poisoned, which I take it back. Okay. Alright. Nice. Okay. So which one should I choose? The sneak and then throw stuff. Try to throw stuff at them. I'm trying to develop a character so that they can throw things. Um, like now. 66%. Not bad. Like this. And then um, like escape here and then throw once again. 43%, not too shabby. Got hit again, nice. So ranged options are pretty nice to have. And then if it gets closer, then I just swing away like this three times. And might just die. Please die. Okay, it died. Okay, cool. I can rinse and repeat with the throwing things I have four oh wow it, you know basically uh, got detected right away yeah Sonic is doing a great job critical hit and I need to pick this up or I can finish this guy off wow nice good job guy yeah, so red scorpions are no problem. Cool. Wow, seven hit points. Pretty cool hit from a throwing weapon. And this guy is obviously uh, <laughs> has eyes on me because I damaged it for a lot of damage. And it's dead. So simple. Cool. Alright, everything's... Scorpions are done. Now, the thing is, it's really hard to pick these things up, but I did anyways. What kind of pixel hunt? Okay, Vic, once again, I need your strong back. Trade and... Um... Oh. Too much to carry, even Vic is now uh, chafing under the weight. Alright, we have our feel of the red scorpions, but... I think there might be more red scorpions to go through though, unfortunately. So um, next time we meet them, I guess we just go and not try to get the tails. Alright, so to Ball City. Taking a long time. And another red scorpion. Some scorpions hiding in the spore plant. No, I think I'd rather just go. Alright. Oh no, bandit. Robbers. Vic was hit instead of you. Let's just run, guys. I think there are just too many of them. May not be feeling so mellow. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Okay, good. Sometimes you just have to run away. And um, pray for the best. Yeah, really far like okay here you go yeah there's a spot that we can visit before vault city so this is probably where we're gonna see watch up general store and all that cool nice what is this what is this place called okay so i'm um, just going to put the knife off we have strong kick armed with strong kick Trader, this used to be a prosperous farming town. Not anymore. 
guard there, the store. And, um, okay, so I guess the store is kind of off ours right now. Sorry, this trading post is closed indefinitely due to the drought. So who says I'm here to trade? I'm new here, what can you tell about this town? Rose's bed and breakfast is on the north side of town. Travelers from all over come just to sample her world-famous omelette. Some say her omelette can cure people of what ails them. Huh. Frankly, I think that's just a bunch of nonsense. Uh, okay, so there's some slaughterhouse, omelette, restaurant. <laughs> Tell me about the trading post. Like I said before, my name is Joe and I run this trading post for Modoc. I organize trade between Modoc and other cities in need of food and leather goods. But with this drought, that could all come to an end real soon. We are getting desperate. So this place is called Modoc. Where's the tannery? Just follow your nose and you'll find it. Can you smell the foul stench in the air? That's the tanning vat just north of here. You can overlook the smell, you'll not find a better place to get leather goods. Bathers can work miracles with leather. Alright, some leather armor might be nice for our guys. Okay, so what's the big white building? Oh, that's our town church. The people in Modoc built it to show their faith. Lately, there has been much to be thankful for, so nobody attends the sermons anymore. Few more questions. What can I do for you? What do you do here? Now that's a good question. Mostly I just run this here trading post, but on occasion I'm the sheriff, mayor, judge, and any other official you can think of. Ah, you must be a very popular fella to be interested with all these duties. Nah, I just drew the short straw. It seems I was out getting some supplies and when I came back I found that the townsfolk went and elected me. Seems no one else wanted a job. Except for the occasional argument, I really don't have to do anything, which suits me fine. So we need to trade though, so let's unload some, um... Wow, here's like dynamite and no money. Okay. Alright, so that's Joe, our chef, mayor, and, uh, you know, trading post guy. He has at least a guard to protect over the stuff for the people from Modoc. And there's a church, big white building, and who's she? Townsperson. Molo used to be a prosperous farming community. Okay. Probably this is the tannery. Solik is overloaded, which means he cannot run. And who is this dude with the shotgun? A very active old man. The name is Grisham. Welcome to my solar house. You're dropping off or picking up? I guess picking up, I'm interested in buying some traveling provisions. Ah, of course, of course, let's see, for traveling, I come in our more famous dried ramen strips. One spoil on the road, and it's tasty too, only $10 a package. Interested? Okay, give me a package. A pleasure doing business with you. Is there anything else I can do for you? To ask him questions though. What can I do for you now? Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the solar house? Well, not much to tell, I run the solar house in Modoc. You want something slaughtered? You bring it to me. I kill it for you and make it into some of the best jerky you ever tasted. I see the drought hasn't affected your business yet. Actually, it has kind of helped my business. Nobody has been able to grow sufficient food for their brahmins, so they're just severely culling their herds. But that's just a temporary thing. You have to look at the big picture. With the decline in the brahmin population, my business can only suffer. Okay. Okay. Right. So these guys are all, like, part of the business that runs the solar house. And this is outhouse, which I uh, obviously want to check out because I see something that is that can be picked up. A book, guns and bullets, my goodness. They're using it for uh, some toilet paper, but I can read it for advancing my skills in small arms. Like two of them, actually. Let's advance our uh, gun skills. Although I don't have any guns. Boss, well, Solix glaring at me again. My small gun skill is 53%, not too bad. But I don't have any uh, sidearms, unfortunately. Oh, I can talk to the poor cow. Moo! Give me some water. Moo! This is a solar house. Wow, it's pretty greasy, alright? And there's a dog among the population of Brahmin. Okay. Um, okay, there's some dog there along with the Brahmin. Check them out. 
Good dog. Hello, dog. Oh, we have a mixed breed. Looks unhurt. Alright, well, every time with a dog, I do this. I try to give it a jerky and see if it follows me. Give him a world famous jerky. That does nothing. So, dog doesn't like the taste of jerky, eh? Alright, that's sad. When a dog doesn't like the taste of jerky, like, what can I do? I might hope in the belief in. The world has diminished somewhat. You hope more for the world here. Uh, can I get there? Okay, I have to actually. Uh, can I talk to the dog? Alright, let me try once again and then I move on. Nothing. Alright, okay. You're all free, Brahmin. Go out and, um, I don't know, be somebody. Tanner. Okay, so this is a tannery. Yeah, interesting small place, Modoc. Sniff. Or you can say sniff. Oh, cool. Nice chest, some BB gun pellet. Okay, move out, Sonic, please. Spirits be moving us. Yeah, move out a bit more. We think you need time to smell the flowers. Grand people say you're too pussy all the time. Okay. I miss my son. Okay, so she is looking for her son. Or her son is unfortunately not with her. And the tanner. Nice. So he's in, still in business. Hello, my name is Valthus. I run the tannery here in Modo. Can I help you? You seem a bit preoccupied. Is there something wrong? Uh, look, I don't discuss my personal life with strangers. Do you have any business with me or not? Pardon me, my name is Lorid. Now that we are properly introduced, you seem troubled. Well, I'm worried about my missing son, Johnny. We've searched everywhere, but still can't find him. I fear that maybe wild animals got him. Ah, okay, Joy. Johnny, sorry, Johnny. Maybe I can help. I can do a lot of traveling. I keep a lookout for your boy. I really appreciate that. Every little bit helps. In the meantime, did you have some business with me? I have some questions for you. What can you help me with? Uh, I'm searching for an item called Gag. Do you by any chance know anything about it? Sorry, never heard of it. Okay. I'd like to see your wares. How expensive would it be to buy? Uh, oh, not bad. And probably buy one for Sonic and Big. Uh, how much money? 88? Okay, that's not enough. What for the leather jacket? Or leather armor? Um, yeah, it's a bit too much money. Okay. Uh, let's see. 80, okay. A steam pack. 75. Not too bad. Let's unload the scorpion tails. Offer? Okay. Alright, so just looking. Thanks. So this is Modoc. Tank. Well. Oh. Hello. Actually, Solek is overloaded, so let's unload Solek a bit. So something needs to overload or unload some of this stuff. Scorpion tail. Let me see if I can get three. Let's see for now. And I have the rope that I can use to go down the well. I think that's um, what it's used for. Harder. Okay, your son can wait. Right, so let's see if I can go down the well. Well, well. So well, all right. OK. 
Okay, so let's see if I can tie a rope. Yeah, okay. That yeah, works. Let's go down. Nice. Nice. What is this? Coin? Rocks. Coin bag. Nice. Cool. This is my dream, my wish, and I'm taking it back. I'm taking them all back. So this is a movie reference. Very large pile of bleached bones. You cannot determine the species of the dead critters. Who cares? They're coin bags. Okay, all the coins. Oh, there's a gun too. Wow. Amazing. Man, this is amazing. I mean, I, mean, I should check wells of every town and every city that I come across. How much coin do I have? Maybe this is going to buy me um, later down the road. A coin bag. Right. And a gun. BB gun. Johnny's BB gun. Wow. Johnny, the guy who got missing. So he must have come down here. Where is Johnny? Is he dead? It probably is, uh, unfortunately, uh, no longer with us. Okay. Um, there's some BB gun pellets that I saw in one of the buildings. I think Johnny's uh, stuff. I think Johnny is a uh, part of bones under this rock. Um, a large amount of rock. Far more than could ever be moved easily. Hmm. I hear some dog too. Where is... Uh, I mean, there's a lot of things going on right now. That are hidden from me right now. Maybe this dog has something to do with it. I don't know. Maybe um, I can arm Vic with the Johnny's BB gun. Although it might not sit well with this uh, person. Mother and father. Alright, Sonic, please move. Yes, please. Thank you. Alright. Okay, so here in Modoc, we'll see what we can do. I'm sure that more adventures await us. Where is Vic? Where did that guy go? Vic. Oh, here he is. Okay. 